Alright, Shalawam, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to all you sincere Akims, pushing this Bible week in and week out, regardless of people here for bear, to the best of your ability. This is a response video to the brother Not Ba Ayash of the San Indianapolis camp. It's called, um, this is a response video called Priests Are Commanded to Teach Truth, Not Lies. Once again, this is a response video to the video that the brother from in San Indianapolis, Not Ba, he did a video called Priests Are Commanded to Teach Truth, Not Lies. And this is just a response video that he did, just adding on, you know. Laying back in on the video that the Akim did. That, that's right though. The true men, the priests, you calling yourself a priest, you calling yourself a prophet, you calling yourself a servant, an apostle, an elder, a slave to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. You supposed to be teaching the truth, not lies, man. And we're gonna just hop right into it. I got a couple of precepts that I want to read through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. And then I'm going to wrap it up. Lord willing, these videos are edifying. We do these videos for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Teach the truth, man. Teach the truth. Once again, a response video called Priests Are Commanded to Teach the Truth, Not Lies. So we're going to hop right into it. Exodus chapter 18, verse 21. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people, able-bodied men. See, you have Bashim Yahushua setting up men to be the teachers, men to be the rulers over the nation of Israel. All right? Kings, priests. Exodus chapter 18, verse 21, once again. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people, able-bodied men, able men, such as fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. See, that's, that's who the God of the Bible is raising up, man. Men that fear the God of the Bible. If you fear who they eagerly call God and Jesus Christ, that's the thing that you're going to be doing. You're going to be teaching the truth. You're not going to be teaching lies. No matter how much our people love to hear lies, you're going to stray away from lies, man. You're going to teach the truth. Men of truth. See, so how about Shem Yahushua setting up able-bodied men out of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and they're going to be teaching the truth according to the Bible. They're not going to be teaching lies to make someone feel good and fuzzy feeling inside. No. No. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. In the house of Jacob, their sins. We're going to give you the truth according to the Bible, whether these people like it or don't like it, man. And the truth offends people, man. And offenses must come, right? But woe to them of whom the offenses come from. Roughly paraphrasing. Once again, Exodus chapter 18, verse 21. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people, able men, such as fear, Yahweh by Shem Shai. Men of truth, 2018, you got a whole lot of guys that are supposed to be the priests, supposed to be the prophets, supposed to be the leaders of the nation of Israel. And the first thing they're doing is teaching lies. Well, they're not going to last long. They're going to be here one minute and gone the next. And Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is going to give them a grievous death, man, for teaching lies. The truth shall remain, not lies. Men of truth. Hating covetousness and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of ten. And that's what you see going on right about now, man. Starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down. That's who you have by Shem Yahshua setting up. To be the leaders, to be the men of truth, because that's all we're doing, right? It's teaching the truth. While all these other alphabet groups are lying their asses off, 
You got Yahweh Bashim Yamshah setting up his true men, the true worshipers that are teaching the truth according to the Bible. They ain't sugar cold nothing, man. We're going to it all, man. No matter if these people like it or don't like it, man. Next scripture. We're just going to be bringing out a whole lot of scriptures like we always do, man. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, man. So let's get Zechariah right quick, the 8th chapter. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 16. These are the things that ye shall do. It's talking, about the, it's talking to the priests, the leaders, the prophets, the apostles, the disciples of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. That's why I had to do a response video to the video that not about did. Priests are commanded to teach truth, not lies. Once again, Zechariah chapter 8 verse 16. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. Truth, one and one equals two. Four and four equals eight. Five and five equals ten. Truth, a moth. That's who Yahweh Bashim Yashai is going to set over his people to rule, man. Men that fear Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and they most definitely going to be teaching the truth. They're going to stray far away from lies, man. Because guess what? Teaching lies will cost you your life, man. Teaching lies will cause a whole lot of people to get killed, man. Under, up under your watch, man. Up under your watch. So let's bring out another scripture. Let's go to the book of Galatians. And I got a couple of scriptures, man, then I'm going to wrap it up. I just wanted to lay them back and add on. That's all. What you would call, I'm just throwing my little two cents in. The brother made some beautiful points in the video. I'm just adding on, man. That's what we do. We add on. This is Galatians chapter 1. I start at 6. Galatians chapter 1 verse 6. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Yahweh HaMashiach unto another gospel. See, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai set up our apostles and elders of great millstone to give us the gospel, to give us the good news. Some guys heard the gospel, heard the good news. Now they're trying to do away with the gospel, with the good news. They're, they're being removed from the gospel and to another gospel now. You know, that's not biblical. Once again, Galatians chapter 1 verse 6. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. I looked up that definition for the word um, pervert. Let's get it. Salakia. The word pervert is a verb. So now, Salakia. Pervert or pervert. And look, to lead astray. So you got guys perverting the gospel. They're leading people astray from the true doctrine, man. They're leading people away with America being um, Babylon to America not being Babylon. They're talking about the Vatican is Babylon. That's you perverting the gospel, man. To lead our people astray, man. Teaching them, saying that the um, the chariots of the Lord aren't, aren't what they ignorantly call UFOs. It's just talking about it's sm smoke and clouds of dust. Are you crazy? You perverting the gospel, man. To lead us straight. This is what the word pervert means. Let me read that scripture again. Galatians chapter 1, verse 7. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. Once again, the definition for the word pervert, to lead astray. Look, to lead astray morally. Then you got guys teaching that you can eat pork now. 
They heard and we read according to the scriptures that you can't eat pork. Now you got guys that used to be in the faith. That was part of the circumcision. Meaning they knew there was his Hebrew Israelites. And they still know they're Hebrew Israelites. They're perverting the gospel now, man. They're teaching you that the Edomites are going to make it, are going to be saved. That's perverting the gospel. What was another definition? To turn away from the right course. They're turning our people, which are the Hebrew Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, these false prophets, these false teachers, these false priests, are turning our people away from the right path, man. The righteous course, that straight and narrow, man. Turn them right back into that crooked path, man. Turn them right back to the ways of wickedness, man. Teaching all kind of false doctrine. And you're going to be destroyed soon come, man. Let's go down. So I'm going to need some, some, some bad definitions right here too, man, for the word pervert. Let me go up some. Look, number four. To lead into mental error or false judgment. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And you know you're going to be destroyed, man. You know you're going to re-break. You know you're going to be destroyed, man. You know that, man. Mm, 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 mm. You all, you false prophets, will be destroyed soon come, according to the Bible, man. According to the Bible. Let's go back. Let's go back to the scripture, Slakia. Galatians chapter 1. And we just proved what the word pervert mean. That's what these false guys are doing. These false leaders. These false teachers. They're perverting the gospel of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, which they which they receive from the apostles and elders of great millstone through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Right. Verse eight, Galatians chapter one, verse eight. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have practiced, Salakia. Let me read that again. Verse 8. Let me calm down. Kind of hype right about now. Galatians chapter 1, verse 8. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So these guys are cursed, man. The Nazarias, Nasty Nas. I'm saying his flunkies, the Nate Snakeums, the HODC, you know, the IUI, the IUIC. You know what I'm saying? Israel united in Christ. Now, now you already know just hearing the end of that um acronym, you know what I'm saying, that they going off. You know? We united in Yahweh Shai, not Christ, man. Who is Christ, man? That's a person teaching another gospel, man. They perverting the gospel, man. You know? They got you headed down the wrong path. And what it say? If the blind lead the blind, all of them going to fall into the ditch, man. If, they, if the blind be leaders of the blind, all of them shall fall into the ditch, man. It says, let them be a curse. So we send up curses on these false prophets, man. And these false teachers, man. Once again... Priests are commanded to teach the truth, not lies. Lies will get you killed, man. Read on, verse 9. Galatians chapter 1, verse 9. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man, you have about Shem Yahushua, don't give a, a damn who it is. Who it is. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that we have received, let him be a curse, man. A curse. So all you false prophets out there, all you false teachers, all you leaders, just know that heavy judgment is getting ready to come upon you for teaching false doctrines, man. For teaching false doctrines, man. You got a, a swift ass whooping coming to you, man. We're just going to come straight like that, man. Through the spirit of your house. You got swift judgment coming to you, buddy. 
This truth ain't a game. You got guys playing around with the words of the Bible. These words are not a game, man. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. But evil men and seducers, so these, these false teachers, these false leaders, these false priests, or whatever kind of title, bishop, whatever they, title they putting on themselves, they seducers, man, meaning they witches, man. They're witches and warlocks, man. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. And you see that happening, man. These guys are getting worse and worse, man. Every video, and I don't even really watch their videos, man. You can't stomach it, man. You can't stomach all the BS that they're speaking, man. But they waxing worse and worse. Every video that they make, another video come out, they're getting worse and worse. Or soon come, they're going to say we ain't the Hebrew Israelites, man. Soon come. They're talking about the 12 chart, you know what I'm saying? The 12 tribes of Israel chart is not biblical. That's perverting the gospel, man. That's leading our people down a different path, man. When the scriptures tell you, you know what I'm saying, in Ezekiel, you know what I'm saying, that we're supposed to have that stick, man. We're supposed to have that plank. With the 12 tribes of Israel on it, man. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. They're deceiving the people and they're being deceived at the same time, man. What you have about Shemir Rashad say? The deceiver and the deceived are his, man. Okay? But continue thou, see, see the scripture, you know what I'm saying? This right here is talking to the elect of the nation of Israel, verse 14. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. But continue thou in the things that thou hast learned. You learned the truth, didn't you? So you continue in it, man. You learned the truth, and look, you learned the truth from who? The apostles and elders of great millstone and the men on down. So the scripture is telling us to continue in the things which thou hast learned. Okay? But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And we know who our teachers are, according to the Bible. And you have Bashim Yamshai said, What? If you go out there and you start preaching another gospel, other than the gospel that you have received by the men of the Lord, let him be a curse. So all those false prophets, all those false teachers, why do you, why you think the God of the Bible set up Noah to be a leader? Moses to be a leader. King David to be a leader. Abraham to be a leader. Isaac, Jacob to be a leader. Because he knew they was going to be teaching the truth according to the Bible. All these false prophets, so-called um, leaders, which are false leaders, you're going to only be here for a moment, man. Okay? Lies don't last forever. Sooner or later, um, the truth tri triumphs lies, man. Sooner or later, man. Sooner or later. Okay? I got a couple more scriptures, and then I'm, uh, I'm going to wrap it up, man. Let's get First John. Get first John right quick. Just a quick response, response video. Priests are commanded to teach the truth, not lies. This is first John chapter 2. Verse 21. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. So you can't mix truth and lies together, man. Let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. You can't mix truth with lies, man. Because once you throw in a little bit of lies with the truth that you're speaking, you throw everything off, man. Now the doctrine is corrupted now from the lies that you threw in there, man. Okay? Once again, 1 John chapter 2, verse 21. I have not written unto you 
because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it. And that no lie is of the truth. Okay? No lie is of the truth, man. All you false leaders, false teachers, you will be dealt with. You will be dealt with, man. Let me see what else I got before I wrap it up, man. Let's get second Ezra's right quick. I got a couple more scripts and I'm going to wrap it up. Just a short lesson, man. I just want to bring out through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemir Let's get this. This is on 2 Ezra chapter 7. Verse um, 34. 2 Ezra chapter 7 verse 34. But judgment only shall remain. Truth shall stand. See, the truth according to the Bible, that's what's going to stand, not lies. Truth shall stand. And faith shall wax strong. And you see the faith of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, is waxing stronger and stronger. Every time you turn around, another member, you know what I'm saying, has joined a camp. Or another camp has just sprung from out of nowhere, man. Why? Because truth shall remain. And faith shall wax strong. Okay? Lies are going to be put down, man. Lies will be put down. Once again, 2 Ezra chapter 7, verse 34. But judgment only shall remain. Truth shall stand. And faith shall wax strong. And you see the faith of Yahweh by Shemel Shai waxing strong out here in this earth, man. The faith of Yahweh by Shemel Shai is waxing strong. Strong. Like, and like the scripture says, you can't do nothing against the truth. Anything that you do is for the truth anyway. Only thing you, only thing you false prophets are doing are revealing who the true servants of the Lord are. That's the only thing you're doing, man. You ain't hurting us by teaching lies. Because you have, but Shemel Shai is going to have us come right back, you know what I'm saying? Destroy the lies with the truth. That's why truth shall remain, not lies. This is a rock, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 4. Let me see. Um, let me see. Salakia. 23. Is that what I want? Salakia, Israel. Bear with me. Yeah. Uh, so, Rock chapter 4, verse 25. And no wise speak against the truth, but be abased of the error of thy ignorance. But those dudes aren't ashamed, man. Certain things they don't know, they're not ashamed of not knowing. So they just spew out madness, man. The scriptures say be abased, man. Be ashamed, man. Let me read that one more time. So, Rock chapter 4, verse 25. In no wise speak against the truth. The truth that we're bringing out, you got guys just speaking up against it, man. Saying that what we're saying is false doctrine. And what they're saying is the truth. And then you got people believing that nonsense, man. When the scriptures say, in no wise speak against the truth, but be a base of the error of thy ignorance, man. Supposed to be ashamed when you start teaching false doctrine, man, and start teaching lies to the nation of Israel or to anybody, man. We're out there to teach the truth to, to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are Hebrew Israelites, and you other nations, man. We teach the truth to the so called white man, Chinese, Japanese, African, Dahe, East Indian, Arab, Hawaiian. We teach the truth to everybody, man. And that's what you have by Shemir is setting up for leaders. The ones that's teaching the truth. Regardless of these people like it or not, man. Regardless of these people like it or not, man. Let's see. Let's get, um... I mean, I got so many scriptures. Let's, let's get, um, Sirach, the 27th chapter right quick. I got, like, two more. I mean, I got a whole lot more, but I'm going to bring out like two more, and then I'm going to wrap it up. This is um, Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Let me see what chapter I want again. 
Bear with me, Salakia. Let me see. Just had it. Let me see. Bear with me, Israel. Let me look. Let me look for the scripture one more time. I just had it. Twenty-seven and nine. So, Rock chapter twenty-seven, verse nine. The birds will resort unto their light. So will truth remain unto them that practice in her. So if you was te teaching the truth over 2,000 years ago, guess what? You're going to come right back teaching the truth, man. Right? Just like you see, you don't see birds hanging out with wolves, do you? You don't see birds hanging out with hyenas, do you? So the men that's teaching the truth, you're going to see them hanging out with each other, man. And you're going to see a guy teaching the truth and a guy teaching lies, and I'm saying, hanging out with each other, kicking it on a day-to-day -day basis. No, that's not going to happen, man. Pursuant to um, Amos 3 and 3, can two walk together unless they agree? If you see two guys walking together, that means they agree with, with each other, and I'm saying, it's on. So once again, so Rock chapter 27, verse 9. The birds will resort unto their light. So will truth remain unto them that practice in her. So the men that's teaching the truth, you're going to see them together. You see birds, they're going to fly together. You're not going to see a bird hanging out with an alligator, man. Okay? That's why you see all these false prophets and false leaders getting up with each other. Even though they believe in different things and different doctrines. And all of them teaching something different. They still get together to come against the men that's teaching the truth according to the Bible. So that, that makes them the fools. That makes them the fools, man. Not us. Because why? Truth shall remain, not lies. Let me see anything I want, else I want to bring out. Let me see. Let's see if I want to get something in, in um, Ezra's right quick, the first chapter. Just know all you false leaders, all you false teachers, man, sooner or later the God of the Bible is going to deal with you and he's going to take you out. The God of the Bible is going to finally take you false prophets out, man, and that's going to be a beautiful thing. That's what we're waiting on. The God of the Bible, Yahweh, by Shemir, to take all you false prophets out. That's going to bring joy to our spirits, man. Let me see. Um, let me see. Um, yeah. I, I just, I'm just going to go straight to the point. Um, 1st Ezra chapter 4, verse 38. As for the truth, it endureth. It is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore, man. The truth, man, is everlasting, man. No matter how, high, how hard you try to hide the truth, it's going to always spring forth, man. Just like grass, if you try to put it, put, put it up on the concrete, sooner or later that grass is going to bust through that concrete. Yeah, it might take a little while, but it's going to come through. Just like this truth, man. The truth was hidden for years, man. But now the truth end up eventually breaking through and coming out, right? First Ezra, chapter 4, verse 38. As for the truth, it endured and is always strong. This truth is strong. Now look, that's what the so-called white man hate, the truth. That's what he fears the most. The truth according to the Bible, man. He don't fear your guns, your weapons. The elite banking families, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Offenheimers. Guess what? They fear the truth according to the Bible, man. Why though? As for the truth, it endureth and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. Okay? That's why the scriptures say truth shall remain. And faith shall wax strong. I got one more and then I'm going to wrap it up, man. You cannot stop this truth according to the Bible. You will not stop this truth. No matter how many false prophets come out to cut, slither up under the rocks, slither through the cracks and crevices, you will not stop the truth of your how about Shemiah Shai, no matter what you do, man. No matter how many followers you got, man. No matter how many followers you got, man. 
2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11. And for this cause, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai shall send them strong delusions. That they should believe a lie. So all these Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians falling out of after these false prophets. Hey, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai gave them strong delusions, man. That they should believe a lie. You know? And the guys is teaching. You how about Shem Yahushai got them up on the strong delusions that they, they, they believe the lies that they tell them, right? Verse 12, that they all might be damned, condemned, right? Who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. So all you false teachers, all you false leaders, you false priests, you false bishops, or whatever kind of title you didn't gave yourself, man. All of y'all have been damned, have been condemned, man. Because you believe lies and not the truth, man. And you're taking pleasure in being unrighteous, man. Okay? Y'all ain't trying to seek the, the path of righteousness, man. The dog that turned right back to his vomit. And like we read earlier in Timothy, 2 Timothy. Evil men shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived, man. Deceiving and being deceived. But you have but Shemel Shai's, hey, he already didn't set up his true worshipers, man. Look, the truth can't be stopped, man. You cannot stop the truth. And yeah, this is just a quick video, man, response video, you know. I have, I have many other scriptures, but I'm going to leave it right there, man. I think the point has been made, you know. Matter of fact, I get one more. I get one more, and then I wrap it up. This is St. John. St. John chapter 8. Salakia. St. John chapter 8. Verse um, 45. And because I tell you the truth... Ye believe me not. We teach our people the truth week in and week out, starting off with the apostles and elders of great millstone. But our people don't believe us. But look, we don't give a damn. You how about Shem Yahushua? Don't give a damn if you don't believe the truth that we, that we preach week in and week out, man. Keep believing those false pastors, teachers, and leaders, man. Keep following them, man. You're going to end up in the ditch right with them, man. And all of y'all condemn, man. Condemn. And all of y'all are damned, man. And let, and let every last one of y'all be a curse, man. Shalak Rayyam, man. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalak Rayyam. Yum Yum Aita. Yum Yum Aita. To all you false pastors, man. All you false leaders, prophets, teachers, bishops, whatever title you calling yourself in the name of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, man. May death and destruction come upon you and your whole household for teaching lies, man. Priests are commanded to teach truth, not lies. Giving all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next double honor to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to all you sincere Akins, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability, regardless of people here for a bear, man. Truth shall remain, and faith shall wax strong. Shalom.